I remember I witnessed to a lady uh, met in Bankstown, Fijian lady. Uh, I was so excited to saw her and, uh, you know, I introduced myself. Um, I give her the address of the church. I invited her to come to the Fijian service, you know, uh, three o'clock Sunday afternoon. So I give her my number, phone number, and I said to her, if you need a transport, call me, I'll pick you up. So during the conversation, I shared to her about the way of salvation. And he turned around and said, oh, I born Methodist, I die Methodist. I was a little bit upset, <laughs> honestly. And uh, okay, she left and I left. After three months, I had a phone call. This is the same lady. So I forgot all about her. And, um, and I asked her, excuse me, can you explain yourself to me? I can't remember you. Yeah. And I said, I'm the one I met you in Bankstown Shopping Center. And I said, oh, you the one that uh, died Methodist, live Methodist? <laughs> and so I was silent from the other side. I was silent from the other side. And I said, yes, uh, I remember you now. So you want, me to, you want to come to church? And, I, and she said, no. Uh, the doctor has told me that I have only three months to live. Three months to live. I need prayer. So I went to the hospital and prayed for her. I pray and I say to the Lord, Lord, let your will be done. And he keep on shaking my hand. He shake my hand away. And I said, what's happened? She told me, I don't want to die. I said to her, God, God know you better than me. That's why I said that prayer. God, let your will be done. For her, when I said that, he said, for me, I said to God, God, kill her. <laughs> That's why he shook my hand. I said, God, know you better than me. If God's will for you to live, God's going to heal you. If God knows that you have to go, and that's it. I have no power and authority over God. So sadly, she passed away the next day. I'm saying that story. This morning, someone sitting here, this message is for you. You don't know your tomorrow. You can baptize in Jesus' name this morning. Your sin to be washed away. Ready. Your life with God. Two times happened to me. When I was preaching here, one of the Fijian service, one of the brothers came from Fiji. Very young man, about his late 30, was standing here. I was preaching about the way of salvation. Call the altar call. I said, you don't know your tomorrow, but today is the day of salvation. Everybody came to the altar, but all, this guy was standing there. After the service, we left. The next day, he flew back to Fiji. On Tuesday, he went to work, but he dropped dead at work. Our day is numbered. Only God knows it. But if God provide a way of escape for you this morning, take it. It's free. Amen.